friends. This week, we are gonna read a really cool book. It is called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. And this book is um, written and illustrated by Dan Santed, who actually is a very well-known illustrator. You guys definitely have heard of some of his books. He uh, illustrated the books Crankenstein, which I read back in, uh, in February around Valentine's Day. And this is what's called a fractured fairy tale. Okay, what this author does is he takes a very well-known fairy tale, which is the tale of Humpty Dumpty, and then he writes it in a very different way. Now, sometimes a fractured fairy tale will tell the story from a different point of view. Um, what this one does instead it, it is it actually tells you about what happens after the Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty story that we all know. So that's why it's called After the Fall. And there's a very important message here about not giving up. All right, so let's listen to this story, After the Fall, how Humpty Dumpty got back up again. <clears throat> My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then, one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. And we see that Humpty Dumpty, even though he's been put back together, he's a little cracked, he has a Band-Aid on him. Inside, though, he still feels a little broken. And we see he doesn't want to climb the ladder up to his bed, okay? Because he fell off that ladder in his great fall. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. And we see he doesn't want to even climb the ladder to get his favorite breakfast cereal because he's afraid of heights. I walk past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it again because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, one day, an idea flew by. And we see right here, a little paper airplane. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying until I got it just right. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. And we see Humpty Dumpty, he wants to climb that wall again, okay? Because he wants to throw that paper airplane so it will fly just like the birds. But he's very nervous about that. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about the time I had spent working on my plane and all the other things I had missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just get, kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. And we see that now the egg is hatched and something with wings is gonna come out of that egg and learned how to fly. And we see that Humpty Dumpty all along, he was a bird. The end. 
All right, so I think there's a really important message in this book, right? Humpty Dumpty, he fell off the wall, but he got back up and he tried again, all right? And even with those paper airplanes that he was building, he kept trying and trying until he got what he wanted. All right, so I'm gonna use this book as a way of doing some STEM activities with you guys. Now, my older students, you know, in, in library class, usually we're doing a lot of STEM stuff. Now, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Math. Usually in media class, we do STEM projects using these little kits that I have. Of course, this year, we're not doing that. But I have some ideas for some STEM projects that you can do at home. And in fact, I'm gonna give you guys two challenges. Now, you could choose to do both of them or just one of them, that's fine. One challenge is a paper airplane challenge. So just like Humpty Dumpty in the book, he built paper airplanes, I'm gonna see if you can build a paper airplane and then I'd like you to test it and see how far it can fly. And I've got a bunch of videos that you can watch to give you ideas. Um, the other challenge is what's called the egg drop challenge. And that's where you're going to build a container or a contraption of some sort to put an egg in. And then when you drop it from a height, we're gonna see if that protects the egg or if the egg cracks, just like Humpty Dumpty did. All right, so I'm gonna tell you more about these challenges in the next couple of slides. For grades K, one and two, these are optional, okay? And I know these are things that you'd probably need a grown-up to help you with. If you wanna do it and you have a grown-up that wants to help you with it, that's great. Otherwise, you could just watch my videos and come up with ideas of what you would do. Now, my students in grades three, four, and five, you are gonna do at least one of these challenges, okay, friends? So watch my other slides. I have a lot of videos that I've made and links to other videos to get ideas, and then I want you to try the challenges. If you would like to send me videos or photos of you doing the challenge, that's great. You don't have to, that's optional. But for grades three, four, and five, there are exit tickets that you're going to need to fill out to tell me a little bit about what you did. Okay, friends? And you can always send me emails if you have any questions. I hope you have fun. And, oh, by the way, this is due in two weeks, okay? Because I know it's a little different. This is a challenge. It's a little more planning. So you have two weeks to complete this. And next week, I'll probably just give you guys a read aloud video just for fun, okay? Enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions.